Welcome back to another video guys. Thank you for always staying tuned in every single one of my videos. I really appreciate every single one of you, you know, and guys, I said this before, I said it again. I want you to ask me questions in every single one of my videos because that's how the channel will actually grow and that's how I get more ideas, okay? Because I don't know what you need help with. Most of you guys, when you ask me certain questions on the comment section, that is how I get better ideas to make better videos for you. Maybe it could be a vlog, maybe it could be a certain workout specific, could be anything guys. And you guys know in my channel, yes, I do a lot of lifting and everything, working out is a good way, is like something good that I look up to, you know, I love doing that. But also along the side guys, I do a lot of self-improvement stuff like you know on myself because that is something I think is super super important. If you go and look at my vlogs, I always talk about you know motivational stuff and things like that because I think it's really important. If you want to be overall successful, you need to know how to like improve yourself. You know self-improvement doesn't only mean you're going to read a book and listen to podcasts. You got to do the little things in order for you to do the big things in your life, you know? Anyways guys, today is also going to be a workout specific video. One of you asked me a really important question in the comment section. They were asking me, I'm going to put the, you know, a screenshot right here somewhere. You were asking me, why do I do zercher movements, maybe zercher squats, zercher lunges, instead of doing barbell back squats or barbell back lunges? Well, to be honest with you, I do them both. In fact, I do them all because you guys know I always rotate my variations and I do not do the same shit over and over again. If I do the same thing, it's not going to be for more than two weeks in a row. I can do the thing, the same thing or the same exercises with the same percentage or whatever for more than two weeks in a row. I don't do that. That is completely a no-no for me because instead of moving forward, you're going to move backwards. That's called the, the law of accommodation. That's the word. I keep forgetting. Anyways, guys, today I was going to talk to you guys about that Zercher movements, comparing it to the back squat movements or the back barbell back movements pretty much i know a lot of people or a lot of fitness influencers they probably don't even do such a squats such a lunges such a rdls the zercher deadlift or you know the zercher deadlift right from the floor a lot of them probably don't even do it maybe even if they do it they're doing it with super lightweight or whatever i'm not like trash talking like oh you're lifting light or whatever maybe they just do it for hypertrophy purposes to have bigger legs or whatever but there is a lot of benefits for Zercher movements, you know, from Zercher movements. And guys, before I even say anything, I just want to say, recently I've been posting a lot of leg day videos back to back and I noticed my view count on my leg day videos are overall super low compared to my upper body day videos, which means people are more interested in upper body movements, not lower body movements. So in other words, you guys, if you guys are not watching my leg day videos, you are missing out because I'll be very honest with you. If your lower body lifts suck and if you're not so strong on your lower body lifts, you will not be strong overall. Let me just get that out of the way. I'm telling you that right now. Yes, having a massive weighted pull up, you want to focus on that only great. But don't miss out on your lower body lifts no matter what. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, I'm losing it. No matter what, do not miss out on your lower body days, lower body lifts. Train them, train them hard, train them smart because your lower body days is eventually going to give you the strength that you need to be strong overall. And the physique that you are looking for, the lower body days are going to help you build that physique. I'm telling you right now, I'm, literally I want to get this out of the way before I even jump into this video. Well, as I was saying, I do both barbell back squats, barbell back lunges, zercher squats, zercher lunges. I do them all. I literally do them all. Maybe you guys didn't see the videos, but go back to my videos on this channel. I have a lot. You're going to find out. You're going to know. With that being said, zercher movements is pretty much an exercise where you're loading up the weight right in front of you. You have to be breathing and bracing correctly because if you don't, you're going to go snap city. Your upper back muscles are being taxed, lower back muscles are being taxed, hips are being loaded up, and most importantly, your core. You will also get an upper body pump. Your biceps are going to be pumped up. Be very careful. Don't just train biceps the day before you're doing zercher movements because you might rip your bicep. I'm just, I'm just trying to, like, you know, give it out there because you don't want to tear your biceps, especially if your zercher movements are really heavy. Be very careful. With that being said, guys, why I do zercher movements? Zercher movements has helped me get stronger overall like you can see I don't back squat every single time but each time I freaking go to back squat I'm hitting some type of PR like I'm gonna play a video somewhere up here 
I'm squatting 390 pounds for a top set of two and that is a rep PR for me. That is literally a rep PR. And I don't squat every single leg session. I probably squat every sixth session or every seventh session, leg session. I, that's my routine. I kind of rotated the variations and I kind of found out the other day, every sixth or seventh session, I'm usually back squatting and I notice each time I touch the bar to back squat, I'm hitting some type of PR. Let it be a 1RM, 2RM, 3RM, some type of PR. Don't get me wrong guys, to be good in a certain exercise, a certain movement, you gotta teach your body the right movement pattern. You gotta know the proper form and the proper technique. So keep that in mind. But right here, you might ask me or might think, why am I progressing or why did I progress in my back squats? Overall guys, when you're doing zercher lifts, the strength carryover from your zercher lifts to your other leg exercises, for example, let's talk about the squat and the deadlift, is insane. You want to increase your deadlifts? Zercher movements. You want to increase your squats? Zercher movements. Why? Your core, your lower back, upper back, glutes, hamstrings, even your quads are being taxed a lot. Have you ever done zercher squats for like reps? See what happens to you. Just see what happens. You go all the way down, all the way up. You have to breathe and brace correctly. Your core, your core is the key to elite level strength. And you guys can see I'm not using any belts, no knee straps, nothing. I'm just in my freaking broken up garage, uneven floors. The floors are broken and I'm just going ham. And I got the, the strongest, like I got super strong by training in the garage, like in my garage actually. But um, guys, so as I was saying, search your movements. Zercher movements forces you to use your core, let's face it, because the, the weight is literally right in front of you and you guys already know if you don't brace correctly, you will go snap city. You will literally go snap city and you don't want to hurt yourself, guys. It's not worth it. I had lower back pain a lot of times and oh my god, I don't want any one of you guys going through it. I have videos in this channel where I talked about the lower back issues that I had, how, I pre how I'm preventing it how I'm still lifting heavy and thank God I'm not, you know, getting snapped up recently. So you don't, you guys don't want to get lower back pain or anything like that. So you got to correct your weaknesses. Don't neglect any little exercises, you know, but that being said, guys, if you go to compare the back squats to the zercher squats, I think you, you will obviously be able to back squat a lot more than your zercher squat. Let's face it. Like if you, you can probably back squat 500, it's not, you might not be able to search a squat 500, even if you train it. Cause the back squat, I mean, the weight is right on top of you. The zercher squat, the weight is right in front of you. It's a freaking front loaded carry, right? You guys might be telling me like, why am I not doing, not doing like the front squat or maybe the front front lunges. I don't like that front squat, front squat is great. But if you're telling me why am I not doing front loaded, like, you know, the front squat lunges or whatever, I don't think that's optimal uh, to me i haven't exper uh, experimented with that much so i'm not going to talk about that a lot but in the future when i do that's when i'll be able to obviously tell you guys more or give you guys more input about it you know but the front squat is something i'm i'm recently gonna start experimenting with a lot more i'm gonna start teaching my body how to you know load up heavier weights because if you look at the chinese lifters they do a lot of front squats and a lot of front squat loaded holds with heavy weights which in other words taxes out your core so overall what i'm trying to tell you guys is over here the key like you know the key word is your core obviously because uh let's face it if you have a weak core you're gonna be weak overall and when you compare the zercher movements to the back squat movements your core is gonna be destroyed by the zercher movements have you ever done zercher rdls i'm gonna play a video right here to how it looks Zercha RDLs destroys your core. You will be crying. I usually do three sets of 15 or high reps or maybe four sets of 10. You know, I always alternate the, um, the volume and the overall weight load. That destroys your core, guys. And guys, I noticed the moment I started doing Zercha RDLs more and more, my back muscles, my erectors, my lower back, they're blowing up in size. They're getting even stronger. My glutes and hamstrings, my posterior chain, they're getting strong and guys, my abs are popping out too because that front loaded carry and it's just so crazy. I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. You guys have to really try it for yourself in order for me to, for you to understand what I'm trying to say here, you know? But the Zercher RDL is something that actually also helps me or help me with my pulls off the floor, let it be my deadlifts, let it be my Jefferson deadlifts, whatever, even with my squats. In case I'm failing a squat, I can, you know, 
get out of it like safely because let's face it front loaded zercher rdls and good mornings along with reverse hypers these three movements combined these are probably the best accessory lifts you can do for your lower back especially and guys you don't want to get snapped up let me tell you right now you do not want to get snapped up and also when i had a lot of uh, lower back pain there was only one or couple exercises that i could do which is the zercher lunges and the barbell back lunges and those are the only two exercises that i was doing a lot i was only doing different different variations of lunges and i noticed by doing the lunges i can lunge heavy weight but the other benefit that came from lunging was my core my core got so strong that ultimately when my back pain went away i corrected my weaknesses i came back to squat and deadlift my weights are just like going up like that so i had to ask myself the real question as to what exactly was getting me stronger not only rotating the variations but mainly my core muscles you know you don't only have to do planks to get stronger core these other compound lifts are actually going to push you to get a stronger core and guys when you have a strong core you don't need any belts you can just go in stack and rack and kill it like look at me for example by me saying this though i'm not bragging i'm just want to show you the example i'm trying to lead the example so if you guys tell me that if any of you guys ever tell me that I won't be able to keep this up longer or I won't be able to like you know do a certain thing well that is your opinion I just believe in myself a lot and I will keep doing it keep grinding out cuz one of my goal is to squat 3 times my body weight that's a goal that I have set for myself I will squat 3 times my body weight I don't know yet how I'm going to get there but as the years pass by I I keep learning every single day new things So you know I'm going to obviously apply all of those knowledge and get to that goal that I have set for myself but yes I will back squat 3 times my body weight without any knee straps without any belt nothing I'll just go in and I will do it With that being said guys mm, this video I gave out a lot of info just some super basic info guys this video was not even that you know critical I didn't use any big words I just try to give more common sense because working out is more about common sense and looking at things from a different point of view. I think people lack common sense. That's why they suck in maybe programming. They also suck in maybe training just in general. You know, when you have common sense, you can do a lot of things, guys. Trust me, you can do a lot of things. So this video was more about common sense, comparing the two, you know, movements. You don't only have to do the same thing over and over again. Look at my other videos in this channel. It will teach you a lot. You will learn a lot. With that being said guys, uh I hope you found value into this video. If you did, I actually you will. Every single one of my videos in this channel you watch, you will find value. I am super confident in what whatever it is that I say and whatever it is that I post and create for you guys. I hope you all have a great day. Keep asking me questions in the comment section because that is how I get more ideas and also by you commenting it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I'm not going to lie by you commenting and liking the video and watching all of my videos in this channel, it's going to help me grow. You know, it will help me grow because at the end of the day I can't make things alone. I keep saying it. Success is not only about you. It's about you know the support that you get from each other. That is what eventually drives one another to actually do better with their lives, you know? With that being said guys, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for everything. I hope you all start to like, you know, giving a little more common sense in your uh, workouts and your training, whatever it is that you have, whatever goal it is that you have, whatever it is that you want to do in life, have a little more common sense. It's going to take you far. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for staying tuned in every single one of my videos. I hope you watched this video throughout the whole thing cuz As I said, it's going to help you out a lot. Also, watch my other videos in the channel. There's a lot of good stuff. You can learn a lot. With that being said, guys, train hard, train smart, train your zercher movements, start adding them from today. Your zercher squats, zercher lunges, zercher RDLs, add them today. Ditch your back squats and all that. Start adding the zercher movements. Back squat once in a while, maybe once a month, you know, just so that your body doesn't forget the movement pattern because you are still learning unless you are at my level or beyond me you probably know what i'm talking about train your zercher movements train hard train smart do not wreck yourself correct your weaknesses don't ego lift and help one another you know help one another and do whatever it is that you need to do to better yourself every single day because i want you all to have a good life with that being said i will see you all in my next video train hard train smart don't get snapped up and 
Peace.